Here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight, he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight. UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise in the fighter meeting. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage. Here. the tape for this welterweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kid Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bola. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go, round one with Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And a lot of people were willing to forget the name when he lost to Jeff Neal back in 2019. This man has been on an absolute tear ever since. Training now with his name in Chicago at Mike Valley's Academy. But it's the wrestling. It's the suffocation on the ground that Muhammad maybe didn't have early on in his UFC career that has become a staple of his recent success. Great punch from the clinch here. Muhammad going for the takedown. He misses. Another strike to the head land. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, a nice double leg, yes. Three minutes to go. Right into side now. Muhammad getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet.
Nice shot lands from the bottom. Oh, right into Mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. On another punch on the ground, gets through. May need some defense here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. 45 seconds. Big for right. Nice double leg, nice finish. Got his guard pass. Nice shot there by the champ. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Muhammad. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Outstanding kick there by Bilal Muhammad. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Just misses there with the left. him and now he's trying to pound him out great ground strikes here and another one another strike from the top lands for him. takes his back now. well he's on his back but he's landing that is tight Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big double leg, level change. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, he's got his back. Just over two minutes to go. Side control now. Get the ball here. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Beautiful transition. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defenseman. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 
Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission and right. kick on a pop. All right, that's the end of round number two. Three deep and we cover. Excellent job that round. Every punch you throw seems to be landing. I want you to keep that going. Don't get into... All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice jab there by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percent. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. There it is. Now he's running him off. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Muhammad's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the... The biggest shot that he's landed all night. He passed it up the cut range. He passed the half guard. Back mount now. And he's back up. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I would bet you $1,000 and sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaged. Oh! And there it is! Holy smokes! I mean, you got to be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kid Dynamite. All right, so there is a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship at every step. He looked fantastic, and tonight that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion.